the moment when all the day trippers leave the anchorage and it looks like this. Two kids just got the second last mooring boy in the whole of Havar Port. Yeah, we're really lucky. Feeling pretty smug with ourselves. Although Panda did have to take a swim in the middle of Havar Port, which was terrifying. Why was that though? I might have dropped the, um, the boat hook. Oh. But you know, there was a series of events that led to, to dropping the boat hook. Mainly, I hadn't understood the communication that Jackson was going to go again and try and reverse back in. <laughs> so I was still holding the mooring ball and then it was going away from me and I just let go. Um, didn't want a Chinese burn from the lifeline. So yeah, I had to take a swim. There was a super yacht coming right towards me. It was yeah. all very scary. Everyone was looking at me. But these things just make you stronger, don't they? It was good though. You got the boat hooked back. Got the boat hooked back. Won't be dropping it again. And then round two. Nailed it. Nailed it. So we've been really excited about coming here to the extent that we've actually had two really boring days of sailing. We we're, were motoring the whole way here. And there are many reasons why we're excited. Mainly, we haven't been in a town for so long. So yeah. this is so cool. Um, I really want to get my camera fixed. This is my old Nikon D3100. I've had it for seven and a half years. This doesn't even work. And um, it's really the only camera we have. It doesn't have any flip screen. So this is gonna explain to you why our videos are so below par with quality. And the other day I discovered there's a huge growth of mold on the lens. I had a bit of a cry about that actually. And I'm a bit demotivated about making videos because all we've got is this flipping phone and it doesn't really quite cut it. I mean, the phone's lasted a few incidents now though. The, pho <laughs> the phone's been through, been through a few things, just like we have. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. And Jackson has been here before. Yeah, rather intoxicated when I was here last time, so. I'm excited to see it sober. I keep asking him, like, oh, is that where you went last time? And did you go here? And he, the answer to all of it is, I can't remember, babe. Yeah. But he did Signs say- Signs of a good time. He said it was the biggest party of his life. Welcome to Yacht Week, Croatia. People have just come and decided to share mooring balls and um, all hell has broken loose. It's very cozy. There's a little ab in the middle of everyone. <gasps> oh, she's loving life. Party. There's three impressions on the end. There's a 50 foot next to us to the right and then a 45 foot on the end.
nothing left to see, just let go of what you once believed. Shake your legs on the ground below. Gotta find the right way to go. Something's wrong and it's in my bones. Gotta find a way to call this home. Submarine bunker. submarine bunker and we spent the day exploring fortresses this place has so much history and you can really feel it it's kind of a weird energy about the place you can feel a bit of a bit of terror and sadness yeah yeah We fought amongst the day trippers to go to Stinova Beach, which has been voted the best in Europe. We took some line stern too, and then proceeded to play in the bluest water we have ever seen. This is a wreck in my mind. Voices calling me, they can get lost and hide in the time. I should have seen the glow, but everybody knows that I'm broken heart is a blind. That I'm broken heart is blind. The moment when all the day trippers leave the anchorage and it looks like this. It's amazing. They just disappear to the back of my mind. Oh, can it be? Voices calling me. Heart is blind. 
got the island of Kortula, which we'll be arriving at in, we're going to that end, so we'll be arriving in about four hours. Jackson's fast asleep, so Captain Xanthi's on watch. And right now we are baking on the deck. I promised Jackson that I was making some banana bread today, and then I went down to make it while he was on watch. And we didn't have any flipping coconut oil or butter, anything like that. So I had to disappoint him. And I was sitting here on my own, just, you know, in my own thoughts, as you do when you've got nothing to do for three hours. And I just had a light bulb moment. I'm gonna use olive oil, because we're in the med. I've got a bottle like that big of it. So we're making olive oil banana bread and <laughs> I've gotta make it up here to make sure that I've got my eyes on the traffic. Oh, just enjoying a bit of the uh, Croatian sights. And, uh, oh, hang on. What do we got down here? Hey, oh Captain. my god. I made you a cake. A cake? What is it? A love cake. A love cake. What's the flavour? Burnt flavour. Burnt? No, sorry, caramel caramelised banana. Love it. With dates and ginger. I use the, the lollies that you're meant to take when you're seasick. Oh, yeah. The crystallized ginger, because I just thought they'd go really well in it. So don't get seasick. Seasick cake. We don't have any left. Cool. Yeah, if you're seasick, then get have, some of this down here. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks very much, first mate. Do you want some? Yep. What is this silence? Where is his light? Where are we? On the roof of the castle, where the stairs is that. So they can't even. So they can't even bring drinks upstairs because it's too dangerous. It's a ladder. So they bring them up on a pulley, which looks like it's about to fall off. We have travelled Croatia top to bottom, back to front, inside and out for the last six weeks and this place, this place just doesn't even compare to all the other places we've been. I can't believe we've waited this long to find out that such a heaven exists. Just had the best day. It's just, how do I describe it? It's a quintessential Croatian island town called Kortula. And it's just got this backdrop of a huge mountain from the mainland, the mainland peninsula. And it's just so bohemian and it's so bohemian yet so civilized. And it has peanut butter. You don't understand how glad we are to see this. It's been a case of Jackson waiting in the tenders, Anthony running into five supermarkets in every place we've stopped at, and coming out with a sad face and no peanut butter. But today, we are three jars up. We shall have satay. Very happy about it, aren't we, Captain? Absolutely. Yeah. So, been a very happy panda today. Sad that we're leaving tomorrow. Maybe we'll find something better. Not possible.